So I've got my chopped strawberries going into my bowl. I'm adding in a tablespoon of honey. Drizzle that right on top, delicious. And we're adding some balsamic vinegar, just a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. We're just gonna give this a toss so that the honey and the balsamic beautifully coat these lovely strawberries. Smells delightful. Okay, I'm bringing in my baking sheet with my parchment paper, and we're just gonna toss these strawberries onto the parchment paper, just like so. Give it a nice spread. And we're gonna pop this in the oven. It is set at 375. While our strawberries are baking, I'm gonna take some ricotta cheese, about one cup of ricotta cheese. We're gonna add a tablespoon of honey and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna whip this up with our hand mixer. So it becomes this nice, creamy, delicious spread. All right, this is looking fantastic. Let's go and check on our strawberries. Okay, the strawberries are ready. This was baking for about 25 minutes. We are ready to serve this up. So I have my crusty toasted bread here. We're gonna take our ricotta mixture and we're just gonna spread it onto our toast. Yummy. You could eat this for like a dessert if you wanted to, but this would actually be a really great brunch dish. Lovely. I'm gonna take a spoonful of our strawberries and just layer it on top. So pretty. This is so easy. It comes together very quickly. Last but not least, I'm just gonna garnish with some basil leaves, some fresh basil leaves from my basil plant. These go great with those strawberries. All right, and just like that, so pretty. We're ready to take a bite. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let's try this one here. Ooh, yummy. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That is awesome.